which yeah well, i'm from uh newton massachusetts um didn't stray too far from home when i went to college uh went to boston college for four years and you know it was kind of a funny situation because uh you know i wanted to go elsewhere i wanted to to uh to go somewhere outside of um you know my immediate area but uh you know, the, the opportunity to play at a school like BC and, um, you know, I was close with the coach beforehand. He was somebody I, I had a lot of respect for and cared about deeply. Um, and I had the opportunity to play literally across the street from where I grew up. My parents walked all my games. Um, so that was kind of an interesting situation. But, uh, you know, was fortunate to, to, to play four, you know, very good years at BC. We had some some excellent teams. Uh, we won a Big East championship my freshman year. Won a Big East regular season title my junior year, and um, the Big East tournament my junior year as well. Um, so you know we had some teams that were that were pretty strong, um, and it kind of was a new era for for you know Boston College soccer at that point. Um, they had never had uh, their own kind of soccer specific field, and that was something that that had uh, been built the year before I I, I went to BC and. Um, you know that kind of changed things for the program, and, and now obviously the, the program's consistently, you know, in the top 25 every year. And, and uh, you know, being part of the beginning of that is something I'm very proud of. Um, after my playing days ended, um, you know, injuries and maybe um, you know some some lack of luck. Uh, you know, kind of uh, led me into deciding that coaching was what I wanted to do. I wanted to start right away. I was fortunate enough that that the uh, head coach at Boston College gave me an opportunity to volunteer. Um, uh, you know, a couple years after I was out of school, um, so I spent uh, one season there, BC's first year in the ACC. Um, that was a little bit of a trial by fire. It was it was it was a tough first season, um, but uh, you know we had a, a you know some strong players. Um, in the group, so you could see that 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 the future was still bright at that point. Um, and I had the opportunity to be the first assistant at, at uh, Northeastern University. Um, I was there for eight years. Um, we had, um, you know, it was the beginning of, of Northeastern's time in the Colonial Athletic Association, um, which was kind of a step up from where they had been before. Um, it was a really really strong soccer conference at that time. Um, and, uh, you know, we were able to make uh, the CAA tournament seven out of eight years uh, that I was there. We played in three finals and we, and we won a title in 2012 and actually played uh, my alma mater, Boston College, in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the first round of the NCAA tournament at Northeastern. So um, that was kind of uh, an interesting situation, especially because the last time that Northeastern had been in a uh, in uh, NCAA tournament game was actually against Boston College, but I was playing for Boston College at the time. So, um, you know, we were able to win that game. So, so far I'm 2-0 in those games. Proud of that. <laughs> yeah, well, I had actually been, been helping out at Middlebury um, for, for two years, backtrack a little bit. My wife um, is the head coach of the field hockey team at UVM. Uh, that was a job that she took in 2014 so we moved up here um, at that point when she started that job um, she had been uh, an assistant at Northeastern like myself uh, that's where we met and uh, so I was up here I was helping out at, uh, at, at Middlebury um, with coach Dave Sayward probably in my opinion he's, he's, he's you know he's a legend in uh, in Vermont soccer um, just a wonderful guy a great mentor and um, I was fortunate to be around him um, and kind of got to know Division Three soccer a little bit, especially in this community. Um, got to know Kyle Desitel, um, which you know, obviously, th there's a lot of good good soccer people in, in, in this area, and Kyle's definitely at the top of that list. And um, you know, when he decided to move on, it was obviously an opportunity for me to, um, you know, have my dream realized to be to be a, a, a head soccer coach at at, at, a, at a college and. Um, you know, something I couldn't pass up. Um, so, you know, I'm really, you know, grateful and excited to be here. And, you know, this is a, just getting to know Norwich and, you know, it really is a great place. The school's beautiful. Uh, the facilities are tremendous, um, which, you know, it wasn't something that I was necessarily expecting. I mean, the facilities are absolutely fantastic. Um, so uh, it's, it, it was really a no-brainer and, you know, seems like a great bunch of kids. And, you know, beyond that, Kyle's done an, an incredible job with this program and the program's been, 
been strong for years, um, years and years. Uh, I think even before Kyle was here with, uh, I think it was James Franklin was a head coach, is another you know, really good local soccer guy. And, and um, you know, they've, they've consistently been winning games. So for me, uh, if we have a dip, I'm going to look pretty bad. But um, if we if we're able to, to continue, um, you know, on, on the trajectory that, that Kyle had the program at, hopefully we can continue to build on on the foundation that's already you know incredibly solid this year. Well, I mean, I think any time you know a coach looks forward to the just the actual season, uh, you know, you look forward to to the competition, you look forward to competing, you look forward to winning games. Um, it was made you know pretty clear to me from the players that that, that was a priority to them. Um, you know, they they were really uh, wanting to win a championship. That was that was you know very clear, you know, throughout. Um, you know my interview process but but when speaking with the players that that was very important to them it's something that um, I have a little bit of experience with you know in college as a player and then then obviously as a coach and um, it just really enhances the, the the whole student athlete experience anytime that you can you know be winning consistently um, and competing at a high level so that's the thing that's probably first in, you know in my mind right now is just getting out on the field and and and, and competing in in the games that we have in front of us um, but beyond that I mean you know the stuff that kind of um, you know stays with you through the years is just the, really the relationships and getting to know the players um, spending time on the buses spending time um, you know in the locker rooms and, and and you know just getting to know the guys and getting to know their families and you know that's that's probably the, the thing that 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 is really the most exciting um, but, but uh, you know second to that would be the competition and, and, and trying to win as many games as we can and try and win a championship. This video was produced by Norwich Athletic Communications.